So I'm here today with my 2013 favourites, which is kind of shocking that this video is going to be in two parts. I'm going to do the makeup section um, now and then in the next segment of this video I will do kind of all round beauty segment. But it's really exciting because I've discovered so many great products this year and so many great brands as well that have really excited me. So without further ado I'm just going to jump right into it. The first category I've got here is base products and I've really discovered lots of really great foundations this year. The first one isn't technically a foundation, this is actually a BB cream and this is the Boots Botanics Radiant Youth BB Cream. I didn't like BB creams before I tried this, I have a video up about BB creams on my channel if you want to go and have a look at it, but the coverage of it is really lovely, it's got high SPF and it's got a really nice finish, but the coverage more than anything was what persuaded me to this. This is in the shade medium, I believe they do three shades and it's very affordable as well. Then I've got another super affordable foundation and this kind of represents a brand as well because I've tried a lot of 17 products this year and I've been hugely impressed by most of what I've tried. So this is the 17 Stay Time Foundation, it's a kind of full coverage, long lasting foundation, kind of the equivalent of Revlon Colour Stay, except with a much nicer finish and a smaller price point. I believe this is around £6 and Revlon Colour Stay has crept up to around £12 now. Really, really recommend this kind of um, a very dependable, great foundation for long days and it just looks really beautiful on the skin because it's so it gives so much coverage but it's not cakey looking, it's quite luminous. Then I've also got the foundation that I'm wearing today and this is by Avon and this is the Avon Luxe Silken Foundation. This is really nice um, winter foundation if you're a little bit paler. It kind of sits on the skin beautifully, it's got a really lovely finish, the packaging is stunning, it comes with a nice pump which is always handy and just a very nice dependable foundation to wear during the cooler months when you want a bit of luminosity but you still need the coverage. Because the next product I'm going to talk about which is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This is lovely for kind of the warmer weather where you kind of want a nice finish but not as much coverage. This is great for that but um, during the cooler months I wouldn't use this. I'd use this a lot during the summer and I loved it so that's why this is part of my favourites as well. Then I have got a couple of blusher type products or kind of face products and most of them are actually from MUA which again is a representation of a brand because I've tried so many products from them recently and I've really enjoyed everything I've tried. The first thing is the MUA cream blushes, this just happens to be in the shade Lush but a really lovely kind of cream blusher that dries to a kind of semi matte finish and just really beautiful, great great price points as well, they're the best budget buy um, I found this year. And then I've also got the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter which is just this beautiful kind of highlighting powder. I don't normally like highlighters in powder form, I really like this, it's very finely milled and just very pretty on the skin. And then last but not least my favourite contour shade which I will continue to repurchase over and over has been the MUA Pressed Powder in shade number 4 perfect perfect contour shade it's got no warmth to it it's a little bit gray but not too gray and it just gets right in there and gives you that kind of chiseled face look every time i love this and it's ridiculously cheap as well it's one pound and then last but not least i have also discovered quite a few products this year from avon and i've really enjoyed everything i've tried so far this is my favorite blusher from them i've been wearing this non-stop since it's gotten cooler and this is in the shade Soft Plum. I really like the packaging of all their products, they're really affordable and they've kind of changed my opinion on Avon products, I kind of felt like it was quite an older brand, I don't feel like that anymore, I genuinely love a lot of their products. So those are kind of my face products. Then I have got a couple of eyeshadows that I have been really enjoying this year as well as kind of eye products in general but we'll start with eyeshadow palettes. I've got two small palettes that I've loved this year. The first one is the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I got this for Christmas last year and I love it. It's just such a fantastic, fantastic palette. I won't bore you with all the details because I've done a full review of it on my channel if you want to go and have a look. But this is what it looks like and the shades you get are just super wearable blendable, lovely kind of matte shades and they're just fantastic. It's a great, great palette and I know a lot of people are really excited about the Naked 3 palette coming out. I won't buy that just because I don't feel like I really use my Naked 1 enough um, and I had the Naked 2 but I sold it because I never used it. So I don't love those types of shades necessarily. I've got palettes I prefer and to be honest I prefer my MAC palette to my Urban Decay anyway. 
but I love this palette as well. And this is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. And in here you get just this kind of beautiful little selection of shimmery and matte shades. It's a great kind of travel palette. It's got everything you need from kind of neutrals to smoky eyes. And I really like this. They're really nice quality and the shimmer shades don't have any fallout, which I have experienced with a lot of the Urban Decay shadows. Then moving on to other eye products. The two mascaras that have caught my eye this year have been the 17 Dolled Up Mascara. This is something that I would definitely repurchase. It's got that kind of nice curved brush and it just gives a really lovely kind of lifted effect. I would definitely repurchase this because I rarely like a mascara upon first application. I like this the first application and it's just gotten better. And then the second one that I really like is the Revlon uh, Maybelline, sorry, the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. Really nice. It's kind of similar to Max Factor Full Slash Effects, which I didn't love, but it's waterproof and it just gives a kind of nice, pretty, wide effect and it's not too waterproof like, if that makes sense. It isn't flaky in the way that waterproof mascaras can be, so I really like this. Then I've got two eye primers that I've really loved this year. The first one is the very cheap MUA Pro base eye primer. I never can remember what this what this is called. Pretty much identical to the Urban Decay Primer Potion in my eyes, if not better, because the Urban Decay Primer Potion did crease on me. This doesn't. I think it's amazing. And then also the Zoeva Matte Eyeshadow Fix Longwear. This is just a kind of matte cream that really helps your eyeshadow stay in place and just look really lovely. And it's very, very easy to use. Comes in this kind of nice little tube that's great for traveling. And I would definitely repurchase this again. It really stood out. And then my favorite brow product of the year, and I can't believe this because I never like these types of things, but the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil. It's just this kind of duo-sided um, pencil on one end, little kind of velvety um, liner at the other end. I'm wearing it in my brows today and I love this. I just think it's so, so fantastic and I will definitely, definitely continue to repurchase this time and time again. I love it. Then I've also got some nail polish here because I felt like this kind of goes within the beauty category. But the first one is by Nails Ink, and this is the Nails Ink Kate Spade um, nail polish in Big Apple Red. I love this, I think it's just so pretty. This was part of the Glamour Magazine promotion that they did, but I've worn it loads, and Nails Ink in general, I love. Then also a kind of representation of a brand, is the Sinful Colours nail polish. Now this particular one, which is Timbleberry, I've worn over and over again. All summer pretty much I wore this and it's a great pedicure colour in the summer as well. But I've got this one right here which is Rise and Shine and they're really lovely, very inexpensive and kind of like the new Barry M. If you've gotten bored of the Barry M shades, these kind of do shades that are a little bit different as well. And then I've also been obsessed with Essie nail polishes this year. I never buy them full price because I just think that's ridiculous, but I do buy them when they're kind of on offer and in duty free and that kind of thing. My favourites this year have been Saint Tropez and Jam and Jelly. These are my all time favourite Essie nail polishes. I've got a few, but once I've got a few more, I will do an Essie collection because I really love them. They're kind of probably my favourite nail polish brand, to be honest. I just don't like paying the price um, for them because they're so expensive. And then also, I've loved this little set from um, OPI, and this is the OPI, uh, what's this called? The Top 10 set. All these shades are lovely. You've got Alp and Snow, Bubble Bath, Tickle My Fancy, Kiss Me on the Tulips, lights the, Red Lights the Head Wear, Big Apple Red, I'm Not Really a Waitress, You Don't Know Jacks, Amsterdam, and Lincoln Park After Dark. Really, really lovely and um, kind of a nice little taster that's gotten me into OPI nail polishes because I didn't really like them before. I was much more of an Essie girl. Then in terms of lip products, I've got quite a few exciting things here that I never really thought I would like. The first one is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss. If you know me, I'm not a gloss person. I much, much prefer lipstick. But this is really nice. It's kind of moisturising, sticky enough, but not too sticky, but sticky enough that it stays. And it's got that slight tingling sensation that plumps your lips up ever so slightly. And then also the MUA Intense Kisses High Intensity Gloss. This is just phenomenal. Um, the pigmentation and the application is just beautiful. It's better, in my opinion, than the Rimmel Apocalypse. Beautiful, beautiful product, and I want to try more of those. And then also from MUA, I've kind of loved these types of things in general, but the chubby lipsticks. These are the MUA Power Pouts. I've just got two shades right here. Love these in general. I've pretty much got all of them, and I like all of them. They apply beautifully, and they're very inexpensive. 
And then a couple of kind of random lipstick choices that I've got right here. The first one is Max Chatterbox. I bought this early last year and I love it. It's just a beautiful kind of bright, vivacious pink that's very flattering and wearable, but bright and shocking at the same time. It's a really unusual color. If you like pinks, you need this in your life. It's gorgeous. And then the other two is the Maybelline um, Cherry Pop Color Sensational Pop Sticks. I bought a couple of these and I really like them. They're kind of nice for those days where you don't want to wear anything on your lips but you want a pop of color. They're really nice and they're really moisturizing as well. Never buy them full price in boots because they're around seven pounds. Um, on Fragrance Direct, they're about one pound 90, so they're much better off buying them from there. And last but not least, the lipstick I'm wearing right now is the Revlon lipstick in Cherries in the Snow, which looks like this, and this is what it looks like on. I love this color, um, I've worn it since I got it constantly and I just think it's beautiful. And then last but not least, I've got a couple of makeup brushes here that I think have really stood out to me. The first one are the Zoeva brushes, but in particular, the Concealer Buffer and the 227 Soft Definer. The Concealer Buffer is just this kind of domed um, little concealer brush that's great for buffing in your concealer. And the 227 is a great dupe for the MAC one. So I really, really like both of these great. And then the other one is another um, kind of representation of the brushes in general. This is the Nashway um, foundation brush. This is, was part of their foundation kit, but I like this kind of domed one. You can really get in there and buff your foundation perfectly. But all the brushes from this kit were fantastic. So they're really great brush options. So those are my favorites in terms of makeup for 2013. Stay tuned for the next segment, which is going to be beauty, product, beauty products, so kind of hair, um, tan, body, that kind of thing. And I will see you all then. Bye.